I'm Rick Knopfy with Presonus Audio. We're here at Infocom 2010, and we're showing the new Studio Live 24.4 mixer with the new uh, VSL control software for Mac and PC. So the 24 channel Studio Live basically gives you 24 inputs, four subgroups, as well as 10 auxes. And you also have two 32-bit effects processors in addition to the 10 auxes. So it's a total of 12 buses for auxes and effects. So the way that it works is I select a channel. And when I select a channel, this blue section right in the middle gives me all of my EQ and dynamic settings for whatever channel is selected. So I select channel 1, here's all my EQ and dynamics for channel 1. Select channel 22, there's all my settings there. But the cool thing is, is that you're not just limited to the inputs, you can also apply the fat channel to all of your subgroups. You can apply it to all of your aux outputs. Even the master bus, you can select the master bus and throw you know, uh, EQ, compression, gating on the master bus if you want. Okay, so let's take a look at the fat channel. So first in line you have a high pass filter that's variable. Then you have a noise gate. The noise gate has been vastly improved from uh, our previous console. So we had a little bit more real estate, so we were able to give more parameters on the noise gate. So now you have a variable filter with key listen, so you can filter exactly where uh, you want the gate to basically pinpoint and, and uh, essentially uh, gate out certain frequencies or, or not have certain frequencies affect the gate. Then you have threshold, range, attack and release on the gate. You also have a downward expander button. Then you have the compressor which gives you threshold, ratio, attack, release, as well as an auto attack release setting. Next you have a brick wall limiter and this limiter has its own threshold and then an on off switch and then you have a four band fully parametric EQ each band has frequency sweep, Q and cut and boost and you have an individual frequency on off switch so you can once you make a uh, an adjustment to that frequency you can uh, bypass just that frequency and then there's a master on off EQ uh, switch as well uh, the next part of the fat channel is the panning for that channel and then you can also hit the stereo link button and link two adjacent channels together. Now when two channels are linked together you have one set of controls for both of them and then another cool thing is you have uh, uh, an adjustable panning for the stereo pair so you're not stuck with hard left, hard right, you can actually pan it anywhere within the, the stereo spectrum. Okay. Um, Another thing that we added on the Studio Live 24 is eight graphic EQs, so they're configured as four stereo or eight mono. So you get to those by hitting the GEQ button. When you hit that button, the screen will show you what graphic EQ you're setting. And then this value knob allows you to scroll across the different bands. And then right here on your meter bridge, all of these encoders now become the graphic EQ. And any, anytime I touch one of these encoders, the screen will let me know what frequency I'm cutting and boosting and how much I'm cutting it and boosting it by. So it's a really cool visual indication of what's happening. Um, of course the Studio Live has full FireWire connectivity so it's one FireWire cable that connects it to the computer and on the screen I have the new VSL control software. So if you take a look at VSL it's really just a graphical representation of what's happening on the board. So uh, as you can see I can pull up a channel and I can grab a point on the EQ and very simply you can see it actually moving on the board while I'm moving it on the screen. And similarly if I grab this and sweep the frequency around you'll see it move on the screen. So it's a bi-directional communication with the computer. Uh, this is really nice because you get a nice graphical representation of what's happening on the board. You also have the ability to do some really cool things with regards to uh, putting new presets in on a particular channel. So for example, here's my 24 channels and let's say I want to put a kick drum preset on channel 1. Well from this list down here below I can simply drag and drop 
a preset in on any channel. So here's a kick, here's a snare, here's a tom. So it's very easy to drag and drop. Now, the cool thing is, is let's say I love the EQ on a particular preset, but I'm not wild about the compressor and the gate. Well, I can actually drag and drop just an individual component of the fat channel. Now, instead of having to drag it up above where it turns blue, I can go into one of the cells and drag it right in between any one of these cells. And that way, I'm only dropping in just the compressor, gate, or EQ from that channel. Now, similarly, you also have the ability to drag and drop entire scenes. So when I drag in it's a scene, of course, it affects the entire console, all of the levels, mutes, faders, effects, everything. So now I'm going to drag over, let's say, uh, here's a preset that we made earlier. Drag and drop it anywhere. It updates the board. Here's kind of a mute group that I did. Only the pastor's mic. Bam. There we go. So I can very quickly drag over any scenes and update the entire board. And this is really great if you have the board installed in a place where you might have non-technical people running it. You know, you can set up a couple of different scenes and just have them drag and drop it and it adjusts automatically on the console. Um, the next thing that comes with the Studio Live is two different recording software packages. So the first recording software is called Capture. Capture looks like this. And Capture is really the most easy and intuitive live recording software that you can use. There's no configuration. As soon as I connect the computer to the console, Capture is ready to record. So literally, all I have to do is go over here, hit the Arm All Tracks button, and then hit the Record button. And as you can see, here we are, we're recording the show. Okay? So after we're done recording, I can just hit play and then I can engage the firewire return buttons on the top of the board like this and now what's happening is is I'm now sending the audio right back to the board The cool thing about this is, is that you can pull up, let's say, last week's gig and send it right back through the console where you can do like a virtual sound check, you know, before the band gets there. And the audio path for the Firewire is exactly the same as an analog input. So it goes through the same buses, you can assign it through the auxes, you can apply effects to it. Uh, so you can actually you know, configure the whole band's uh, front of house settings as well as aux settings with monitors without the band being there. So it's a really, really great functionality. Not to mention you have the recording capability where now from Capture I can export this to a, a different recording software or I can open up this if I want to do some more heavy editing to Studio One, which is the second uh, software package that comes with the Studio Live. It's called Studio One Artist. So I'm going to pull up Studio One Artist. It looks like this. So Studio One Artist is a full-on DAW. So it has um, full editing, plugins, automation, MIDI, virtual instruments. Uh, it has a full array of plugins that come with it. So just like VSL, everything is drag and drop. I can simply drag an EQ, drop it onto a track, and uh, you know, get more precise uh, kind of editing going as well. Right here on the edit window, if I double click on a track, it pops up really big here. You know, I can do some cuts. I can uh, move stuff around. I can lower stuff in volume, uh, do some fade ins, fade outs. So it's, a, it's just a more comprehensive digital editing type of software that I can basically open up my capture session in Studio One Artist, throw down a mix, burn a two-track MP3 or WAV file, and then put it up on the internet or burn a CD or whatever. So uh, that's the Studio Live 24 with the new VSL software and Studio One and capture software. Thanks.